this whole black piece right here part right here that's the inducer motor inducer assembly all it's designed to do is going to draw air through the burners and everything through the heat exchanger it's not going to push it through the vent system it's just going to kind of let the air go whoop, just like that through the vent system the hot air takes it away so if you get a code of pressure switch stuck open and you notice this isn't running disconnect these like that put your meter leads here and ohm out and see what's going on whether that motor is good or not so if you see like we got here on the meter six ohms you know the motor is good what you can check here is if you've got power coming in here this is a 110 volt or 120 volt item here put your meter to voltage just like this put a probe here put a probe here and see what voltage reading you have if you have zero volts right here don't assume that the board is bad because those wires come through here you have a plug that goes here and then the wires go down to the board here so if you go oh this isn't running I don't have 120 volts right here must be a bad board you have to check down here let's see if I can get it zoomed in at the plug connection right here at the board because if this plug goes bad or any other plug goes bad you won't have power but you can have a good circuit board you trace it out on where the wires go test right here you know depending on which is hot and neutral and now tell you if the board is bad because it's not sending out the power now if you get to where you ohm the motor out here and it says OL then you know for sure the inducer motor has gone bad but do not forget to check for that 120 volts being supplied to the motor if this went bad and took out the relay on the circuit board down here you would essentially have two bad parts because this isn't sending power and that has an open winding where it will not work so Hopefully that'll give you some good information on troubleshooting. Remember to subscribe to my channel.